Good afternoon, Liberty North. Today is April 1st, 2016. I'm Garrett Prendergast. And I'm Lindsay Downey. As you guys all know, the big prom is coming up. It is Saturday, April 16th. The dance is from 8 to 11 p.m. It is at The View at Briarcliff, which is 400 North Mulberry Drive, Kansas City, Mo, 64116. As you guys know, the attire is formal, so make sure you guys buy those nice dresses and get nice and tucked and get that hair trimmed, get your makeup done, as you guys all know, get your nails done. And tickets are $40 a person, and tickets will be sold Monday, April 4th through Wednesday, April 13th. As I'm sure you all know, today is April Fool's, so make sure you watch out for the pranksters out there. Did you guys get the prank today? What prank? Well, I walk into broadcasting in class, and there's a box of Lamar's donuts sitting there. I was so excited. I opened the box, and there's camera equipment in it. Oh, that's just, that's just harsh. It's I don't just, know. It was not OK. I don't know why you do that. Um, speaking of April Fool's, it's fun. We hope you get some laughs in it. And here's a video to help you laugh today. OK, so this family goes to a zoo. And there's a gorilla exhibit. And the gorillas are sitting there. There's a male and a female. And they're just sitting there. Knock, knock. Who's there? They're up in Calhoun. What do you call a cow with no legs? Grumpy. It's the chuckles of Baki family. Turns out I have a serious cold. This morning I woke up and had in my morning coffee. What is that? What is it that's face? Quackers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and they're sitting there watching these gorillas. It's mom, dad, and son. The gorillas are just sitting here. Bamboo. decided to serve submarine sandwiches, but later went under, under, submarine sandwiches went under. Well then, the dad just sits there, he's fascinated by these gorillas, and he's watching the gorilla eat, the male and female just eat, eat, Well then the male gorilla comes up and eats the man, right through the bars, eats them. And everyone's flipping around the monitor and running back, you know, and they can run it back, and they go out there and they kill the male gorilla. Kill a female. Cut open the female gorilla and the man's not in there. Why was the kid's report card wet? It was below sea level. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a cow on a roller coaster? Boy. Milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> Due to inclement weather, the sandwich shop wrapped up early Tuesday night. Wrapped up sandwich shop. <laughs> The shop that sold ceramic heads was a total bust. <laughs> and they cut open the mail, and he's not in the mail room. And the doctor goes, well, that goes to show you the check's not in the mail. <laughs> I want to make like a turtle and get the shell out of here. We'll see. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for that April Fool's video. There will be a cheerleading clinic on April 4th through the 7th at 5 to 6 p.m. to get ready for the tryouts, which are April 9th at 4.30 to 7, both in the LNHS Fieldhouse. Speaking of tryouts, the Golden Girls will also be holding their tryouts on April 4th through 8th after school. Tomorrow, April 2nd at 7 p.m., the Liberty North Key Club will be hosting our annual Mr. and Mrs. North Talent Show in the Performing Arts Theater. The competition will be hosted by Ellen's own Ted Maxwell, Tickets are just $5, so make sure you guys come to that. Stuco will be hosting a dodgeball tournament next Thursday, and signups are due next Tuesday. You can still get sheets from Mr. Davis or Ms. Plasters. Signups are $5 a person, and there will be 10 people per team. Last night was the HOPE Awards presented by Liberty Public Schools. This is a big achievement for those students with their work in and out of the classroom. Deterion Richardson received the Personal Initiative Award. So congrats to you, Deterion. Michaela Scarrow was next, and she received the Meeting the Challenge Award. Congrats, Michaela. Michael Wansing received the Humanitarian Award. So congrats to you, Michael. 
Next, we have Kendall Steinmetz receiving the Walk the Talk Award. So congrats, Kendall. Last but not least, we have Josie Moulton receiving the Community Service Award. So congrats to all you guys receiving those HOPE Awards. That's all we have for announcements today. Let's see what Alex has on Liberty North's athletics. Thanks, guys, for that quality reporting, but on to some sports. On to the court, the Allen Varsity tennis team went 1-1. One one. At the Joplin Invitational on Wednesday, the Eagles lost to a powerhouse Jenks High School in the first round, but came back and won a tough match with Thomas Jefferson Independent Day School by the score of 6-3. The boys were tied 2-2 with Springfield Central when the rain set in. Eagles baseball shredded Winnetonka 18-1 on Tuesday, but fell a little bit short to Staley 4-2 Wednesday. And they are back in action with a doubleheader on Saturday at Kearney starting at 12-15, so go catch the baseball team. The golf boys were out at Staley last night, improving their match play record to 5-0, defeating the Falcons 164 to 174, I believe. So great start off to the season. Keep it going, boys. And also, the track meet will be streamed live today, and you can catch that on North Nation Media. So if you want to watch a little track meet guy, you can go stream that on North Nation Media, which will be very exciting. That's pretty cool stuff. And uh, now I'm going to send it to the front. We have a special announcement I hear. Thank you, Alex. This is no April Fool's joke, but we have your guys' 2016 prom queen and king candidates. So let's see what we have here. Congratulations to the following seniors who were nominated by the Liberty North staff to serve as our 2016 prom court. These students were chosen uh, because they have shown a commitment to academic excellence and dedication to their academic pursuits. Through their endeavors, Prom Court nominees personify the view of LNHS as an institution for learning. So let's start off with your guys' 2016 Prom King candidates. Joe Barry, Jack DeGarmo, Romero Hagadera, Matt, uh, Tyler Lamport, and our very own Alex Trinidad. Your 2016 prom queen candidates are Madison Dauberstein, Allie Gates, Hope Giddings, Maddie Matson, and Kate's very own Sarah Philpott. Congratulations to these seniors. The entire senior class will have the opportunity to vote during prom week to determine this year's prom queen and king. That will wrap up our show for today. We will be back here Monday, but until then, we'll catch, catch you on, on the, the south side. side.